Divine Path Psychic, Tracy Moon, delivering Aquarius's Winter Solstice Tarot reading for December 21st to the 23rd. We are entering into the shortest day of the year, but the days are going to start getting longer. So I put up, up my colors to celebrate the sun and, you know, want to be happy about every little hour that we have with the sun out there. A little bit of astrology, um, Mars is sextile Pluto in your career sector, and uh, Neptune trine Venus is also in your career sector this month. Uh, we also have Mercury conjoining Jupiter in your social sector. This means that um, this is in your personal resource sector is that you've done a lot of work, you know what you want and how to get it, and you're going to go get it. And you've done the work. So you can enjoy what you put your energy into. And that was motivation because you didn't have what you wanted. And you had to figure out what it was that you did want so that you can move into what you do want. And you were able actually this month and to get that. And in the next days, you're able to celebrate with your family at your house, uh, doing the things that you love to do. Um, and also, you know, in work, there may be some conflicting ideas um, that were on your path, but Mercury conjoin Jupiter will help you be able to express um, some, the things that are not right on the path, you know, giving you the ability to say, you know, that's not working or I, we should address this um, as where before perhaps you would just go along with what was going on or being said. Crossing your path is the lover's card. Um, this is having love and passion to do things in life that bring you happiness. You're getting paid doing things you love to do because you have the passion involved. Um, this is a good card. It also represents Gemini and maybe some of that Gemini energy is sort of flooding in from the, the moon. You know, you'll start to feel the shift between the Gemini moon into the Cancer moon that's coming up on Saturday. So this is for Friday. This also, uh, you know, gives you that last push of firepower to uh, get what it is that you want before it burns out. Moving into the future, we have the moon card. So this moon card is also representing uh, the full moon in Cancer. This is a time to really go inside and nurture yourself for all of that hard work that you've put in. You've done the work and now it's time to nurture yourself and just sit back and maybe enjoy a nice warm sea salt bath or a cup of tea. Um, you know, relaxing and just nurturing yourself, loving yourself right where you're at, doing um, all that hard work and Putting in that effort, you know, you're going to see also with the Capricorn sun coming in on Saturday that this will help uh, you if you start putting a list together of all the steps that you want to take to get to the goal. Um, this is a great time to, um, well, you know, with Capricorn, it's all about putting in the work. And with uh, the Cancer full moon, it's about nurturing yourself. So, you know, nobody's going to, I mean, it could happen that other people see the hard work that you do, but all of those hours that you put in by yourself at night on the computer or researching and doing all that, this is a time to really step back and say, wow, thank you for putting in that work because you were here and now you've made it to here. And all right. So, you know, this is also, um, the queen of wands is a fire sign. She, has also a outgoing attitude, you know, going out into the public, the social sector again, um, you know, not staying home or thinking about what you've done, but be able to go out and talk to all your friends in the social sector and, and make those connections. Cause really, you know, um, this is your public image and, you know, you can, the sun is moving in and it's going to help you illuminate your routine and your health issues as well. So, you know, making emotional nour nourishment with your colleagues, this is a social thing, making those connections. Um, 
and the six of cups this is you know enjoying um the world through a child's eyes really getting in touch with your creative side um, maybe creative thinking and feeling and just you know enjoying yourself enjoying the children with this winter solstice you know this is a time where you can sit back and really enjoy all of the work that you've put in and through you know an innocent perspective this is a fleeting moment so you know, this brings back nostalgia of your childhood memories of the solstice or, or the winter time. And really being able to nurture this, the child inside of you that you don't have to be the big adult who goes to work every day and, and you can't enjoy yourself. So this is saying, you know, enjoy that aspect of um, compassion and the love that you put into the things that you do with your your health and your food and you know exercise and loving and caring for yourself and your family here we have your feelings and what you're thinking about um this is a psychic card this is really being in touch with the moon um and just going within and knowing exactly what it is you want exactly how you're going to do it and just knowing so it's not like you had to put in any real thought effort it just happens and so you know this is also a time in the future to um go within and heal this is chiron and uh virgo so the wounded healer you know going within and maybe healing that um that hurt from your past you know that childhood thing um, that keeps coming up or reoccurring. It's okay to embrace it, face it, and, you know, let it go. Let the light consume it. Just put a whole uh, beam of light around whatever hurt and pain and suffering that you have from the past, whether it's money or the way to get money or um, what happened as a child. Go ahead and surround it with light and move on because you have um, such a bright future um, you know what you want, you know how to get it, and you don't have to talk to other people about it. So this is about just like releasing um, anything toxic that's holding you back from uh, the past. Just either burn it or bury it. And you don't have to tell everybody where you're going with your career choices. Um, you know how to do it. You know how to get paid doing what you love to do. So it's not really work. And it's like, dun, 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 just dash in there and get it done. No talking about it, just do it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. This is Divine Path Psychic for the winter solstice reading. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is full of nurturing and adventure. And um, I can't wait to talk to you about your plans for the future. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.